little over 24 hours after the massacre occurred on October 7th. I was down south doing the other side of what I do, dealing with security issues. And as I walked through the puddles of blood and ashes, people that were massacred, it's something that I can't get it out of my mind. Probably never will. This painting that I made a long time ago, this is a, an artist proof embellished print. That I made originally based on Tisha B'Av, a day of, of tragedy for the Jewish people, the destruction of the temples and so on. If I just took this painting back from an exhibition that it was on and decided I had to change it. Work a study maybe for a larger painting. The paint that I'm using, like you saw, I mixed, I textured it with gunpowder. The grays that I'm adding here are to me remnants of the ashes that I saw. And people burned, and people burned alive. So I have to make another painting dealing with it. This is just a study, but I'll probably be working on a larger one soon. The original work is actually called Echa. Hebrew word meaning how, uh, when used like, how does this happen? It's written here in ancient Hebrew also. It's the word used to open up the reading of Lamentations on our lousy days. Sometimes it's also used, said, Ayeka, where are you? Whereas it was used in, in the Bible in the story of Cain and Abel when after Cain killed Abel, and God was looking for him, he used the word. The music in the background that I've been listening to, the various chants deal with peace among mankind. Ironic, maybe. Maybe there'll be a day when man appreciates peace more than he does war. <laughs>